Hey, what's happening, good one? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and today I have another unboxing video for you guys. And this time we have the statue from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And this is the statue that came with the US version of the Collector's Edition. And I managed to get this off of eBay for about $35 plus free shipping and this came all the way from Canada and I do live in Corona, California. Um, so this is the box that was shipped in, the original collector's edition box if I recall. Uh, but here on the front you have Edward Kenway, you have Adewale, and of course you have Blackbeard. On this side you have the logo. The other side it says Assassin's Creed Black Flag. On the other side, I'm not going to show because it has the shipping label and my address. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, turn this back around and open this up. Hopefully everything came in nice and neat. Uh, the package is a little bit rough. It's kind of weird how he packaged this because um, you would think that you would put something like this in a regular box so people don't know exactly what's being shipped because uh, sometimes you have those shady people who steal packages. But um Thankfully enough, my package wasn't stolen, and the shipping was actually relatively good. It took about a week and a half to two weeks to get here, so not long whatsoever. All right, so go ahead and get all the areas. I wish the box wasn't too damaged, though, but eh, I could always just cut off this piece right here. All right. Now you should always cut away from yourself, not towards yourself, so don't use my method. And I have my AC3 Collector's Edition statue on standby over there so I can kind of do a size comparison. Ooh, sweet. Okay, here we go. Take everything out here. We have some other items here. Okay, let me put this box to the side. But there we go, there's a little piece of paper here. Let me go ahead and see what this says. All right, and this is something that he prints out every time. So it says, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope everything is all right. I double check the items, but if I overlook something, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll be happy to resolve the issue. If you are satisfied with your positive feedback, it is very important to me. I would be grateful for your kind words. Thank you for your support and thanks again, which I will put a link to his eBay page. But again, just a little letter saying thank you. You know, he makes copies of these. Um, we do have the instructions showing you guys how to put this together but this looks fantastic I've been wanting this for so long and I'm just happy to have it now so we got some items here I want to be careful so there's some actually tie-ins back here it's actually been a while honestly if I seen tie-ins usually everyone just rubber bands everything together but um because when I did my unboxing for the Titanfall Collector's Edition, on uh, one of the guns, on uh, the pilot that's on top, it actually got bent because it was rubber band together and it's been sitting there for you know over a year. Um, but again, you can always heat it up and fix it. So, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and I should, oh, there's some tape here. Again, just trying to be Caution, because sometimes the little swords that you guys get with the figurines, sometimes they're very fragile, like the one from the Ubisoft workshop. All right, let's go ahead and... Come on. And this definitely wasn't taken out. This is as new. All right. So we got his sword right here. I'll take that out in just a couple of minutes. I should be able to, wait a second, oh, that's a double, okay. Apologize if that was loud. Okay, so I already got the pieces loose for this. Let's take everything out first. All right, so the bottom box actually comes out from the main one. So you have the base in which he stands on and then you have the flag, and this is plastic, so that'd be kind of cool if it was fabric, but then again, you won't be able to see the logo as well. And you also have um, an actual rope that you attach this with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put this right here in the background, so we can get to the figure. Uh, let's go ahead and take out his sword. 
Again, I don't want to break it. So here is his saber. I believe that's what they're called, correct? So pretty cool, little scuff marks on it. I like that. Now let's get to Edward Kenway. He only has one tie down, so. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this is nicely detailed. I thought there's a little mark. Got his guns, um, but look at that. That is really nicely detailed, nicely sculpted. Make sure you guys the backside really quick before we put all this together. And see, as for the face detail, uh, the face detail isn't too bad. I'm not sure how well you guys could see that. A very good amount of detail. You got his hidden blade and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and try to put this together. So we have the, the, the instructions right here are showing how to actually put the rope that you guys get. All right, so first off we have the base, which will go like this. Then you take Edward Kenway, and this will go right here into this little peg. All right, boom, he's already top heavy. <laughs> All right, next up we have would be this piece, and this one will go like so. No, it goes up like that, right? Again, because I don't have another picture. Oh, wait, here we go. So, yeah, this will go up towards this. I believe it connects a specific way. Might have to uh, put a little bit of love in there. So, yeah, definitely goes like this. So the metal piece goes up. There you go. You just have to show it a little bit of love. You got to force it in there. That's what she said. All right, so there you guys go. All right, next up, I believe you got to turn this around now. All right. Boy. Man, that's a, that's a pain. It must have been sitting there for a while. Next up is the flag. All right. Come on, there we go. All right, so that's not working out. Let's try. Hold on, there's actually a couple little slots here. All right. So that's how that goes. We just need to adjust this. Like so. All right, there you go. Boy, that's a little bit of a pain to put together. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and fix the camera here. All right, so that is that part. Again, it's a little bit top heavy. Maybe if you two were to adjust it a specific way, you could probably fix it. Actually, you know what? Not too bad, I have it fixed now. There you go, it's much more stable. Now we have the rope. An actual fabric, not a plastic piece of rope. Again, I'm not sure how well you guys could see the detail. Focus, come on, focus, focus. I don't think it wants to focus. But uh, yeah, there's the rope. So now we have the instructions. I'm gonna put the sword on last. So the instructions on the rope. You guys a closer look here. So we have a section within the top somewhere. I know you tie it around the top and there should be... Okay, okay, now, now I get it, now I get it. So pretty much what you do is that you'll tie it up here first. 
Fortunately, I'm not a Boy Scout, so I'm not good at tying any type of knots. But again, you just simply apologize for my slow tying. I don't normally tie a lot of things. Okay, my knot was a bit crappy, but that's ba the basic idea. Then you take this other portion, this will go through his hand. Like so. And then you take the other bit, this will go around his foot. And then you simply tie the rest together. So it's basically like this is going to be holding up the figure to prevent it from falling. Alright, so I'm trying to tie this as best I can. Again, I don't normally tie a lot of stuff. But you get the idea. I'm going to uh, fix the tying portion off camera. Uh, and of course, you also have his sword which will go, Actually, this needs to be adjusted a little bit. The sword will go just like that. And while that's actually showing the sword going through there. There you go. Perfect. All right, so that's pretty much the setup right there. Again, I'm going to have to fix the rope off camera because I don't want to spend too much time on it. So there is the Assassin's Creed Black Flag statue, just how it was within the main collector's edition. Like I said, I just need to fix the rope. This should be a lot tighter. But if you want to order the statue, I will link put a link on his eBay page. Again, it's $35, free shipping, a really good deal. And to do a size comparison, Here's the Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Edition. It's definitely a lot bigger than that one, as you can tell right off the bat. So, in my opinion, is it worth it? Heck yes. Should you order it? Absolutely. And do keep in mind, I also have two more unboxing videos related to Assassin's Creed, but this one that's going to be coming up is related to Assassin's Creed Unit. <laughs> Unit featuring Unity, which has both Arnold and Elise. So stay tuned for that one. And once again, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.